Hi, my name is John David Anderson. I am the author of Finding Orion, and I'm here to give you a few book recommendations. The first book is called Orphan Island by Laurel Snyder. This is a book about, wait for it, an island of orphans. But it's like really mysterious how the orphans get to the island and once they're there, they create this community and there are all these laws that they have to obey, but then something happens and some of these laws get twisted and broken. And it's ultimately about the relationships that these kids have with each other and how they build those relationships and what happens when those relationships get tested. And I loved this novel because it lingered with me. I mean, it's the kind of novel that you read it and you put it down and you're like, okay, I kind of get it. And then two weeks later, you're coming back to it and you're thinking about it more and more and you're asking yourself more and more questions and seeking more and more answers. It's just the, the kind of book that blows your mind in all kinds of interesting ways. And I think books that make us ask questions are just as important as books that give us answers. And this is a book that makes you ask really important questions about what it means to grow up. All right, the second book that I think you guys should read is called The Benefits of Being an Octopus by Anne Braden. It's a debut novel, and it tells the story of a young girl, a seventh grader, who has to juggle all kinds of things because they don't have a whole lot of money in her family, so she has to take care of her siblings, and she has things going on at school and things going on at home, so she wishes, obviously, that she had a bunch more hands, right? Uh, the benefits of being an octopus is that you can juggle a lot of things at once. And this book also juggles so many things at once. It's about gun control, and it's about abusive relationships, and it's about what it means to be poor, and it's about trying to get along with your family, and it's about trying to find your place in the world. And it's all these things sort of mixed together, but it's very real. It's a novel that when I read it, I kind of wished I had written it because it speaks to me in a way that makes me feel like I lived what the characters are living in the book. And not every book can do that for you. All right, finally, the last book. I just read this book a couple of months ago and it's called Sweep, The Story of a Girl and Her Monster by Jonathan Oxier. And this is a book that takes place in Victorian England at a time where there were not as many good child labor laws. And so there are a lot of kids who are being forced into this, the chimney sweep trade. And they would sometimes like die as a result of the work that they had to do. And it tells the story of one particular chimney sweep, a girl, and an encounter she has where she makes her own soot golem. And so it's this sort of monster who comes and helps her. And it's a bittersweet novel. It's also a scary novel. There's lots of adventure. There's lots of backstabbing, but it's also very sweet. The relationship between the girl and her monster will sort of break your heart. So it's kind of like Frankenstein, you know, Victorian England, chimney sweeps, friendship, and all that stuff is wrapped up into one book. And I just highly recommend it. <laughs>